Welcome to question 1 of the 2018 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solutions to this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For part A we have let f of x equal e to the power of x divided by x squared minus 3 and we are asked to find f dashed of x which is the derivative. So because we have a function dividing another function we can use the quotient rule for differentiation so to apply the quotient rule, we're going to let u be the top function, which is e to the power of x, and v will be the function in the denominator, which is x squared subtract 3. So du dx is going to equal e to the power of x, and v dx is going to equal 2x. So from the formula sheet, we know that the derivative d dx of a function u divided by v is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared. Therefore for this question we have the function f dashed of x is going to equal v which is x squared subtract 3 times du dx which is e to the power of x minus and then it's going to be u which is e to the power of x times 2x which we can write as 2x times e to the power of x and that's going to be divided by v squared, where v was x squared subtract 3. So that is the derivative that we were looking for for this question. In the examiner's report, they mentioned that the quotient rule was the most straightforward method for this question. And also a reminder that any expressions um, that involve the addition of two or more terms should have brackets around them. For part b, we have let y equal x plus 5 times log e of x and we're asked to find dy dx, the derivative, when x is equal to 5. So we can recognise that this is two functions multiplied together, so we're going to use the product rule for differentiation. So to apply the product rule, we're going to have u is equal to the first function, which is x plus 5, and v is the second function that's multiplied, which is log e of x. So du dx is going to simply equal 1, and dv dx is going to equal 1 on x. So from the formula sheet, we know that the derivative d dx of two functions u and v multiplied together is equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Therefore, the derivative to y dx for this question is equal to u, which is x plus 5, times dv dx, which is 1 on x, plus v, which is log e of x, times 1. So that's just going to be log e of x. So we now have to evaluate dy dx, the derivative, when x is equal to 5. So when we do that substitution, we'll have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 plus log e of 5. So simplifying that down, this is just 10 divided by 5, which is 2 plus log e of 5. So that is the answer to part b of this question. So in the examiner's report, they are reminding students to take care with notation when dealing with logarithms. So a couple of things that they may be referring to is to make sure that the base e is as a subscript and that it's probably best practice to use brackets so that what's inside the log isn't confused with any other terms in the expression.